Hi, I'm Chandra Antone, and I'm going to do a desensitizing in motion lesson. Okay, so Goose is a little bit spookier, so I want to do more desensitizing exercises than I did with like Winslow. So you always want to do more to balance out your heart. So he's really spooky, so I want to do more desensitizing. Winslow's really lazy, I want to do more sensitizing. So I'm going to do desensitizing emotion, so I'm going to have him lunge around me while I desensitize him with this. So this takes up desensitizing one step further, so he's not standing still. And because some horses will just stand still and be tense and and they're fine at a standstill, but it's a whole different story when they start moving. So send them off. Let's go. Let's go. So this one I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drive him. I'm gonna face forward and yeah. I'm gonna have my belly button facing forward like this. So I'm not putting any pressure on. I'm not asking him to go. It's gonna be different. So I start on his hind quarters and I'll work my way up. So I'm just going to keep going like this and I'm just going to toss it up there. And you want to look at him, but you want to try and keep your belly button facing forward. And I've done this a couple times with him, so he's not too bad. But you can kind of hear him breathing like hard, not hard, but like deeper. So he's like, he's just a weird horse. He's, he needs to just chill. But I feel like there was a huge change in him after I did this while he was walking, so I feel like it worked a lot. So there he kind of slowed down, so that's the idea. You want him to walk. If he's trotting, that's fine. When he's trotting, keep him in the same place until he walks. So he was already walking, so he slowed down his walk, and then I'll stop. So I think he's okay with that, so I'm going to move it up to the saddle, and I want to make it some noise on the saddle. So I'm just going to wait until he kind of slows that walk down. He sped it up, so I'm going to keep going. And again, you want to walk a small circle, just like you did before. Um, just everything as forward as you can, because you don't want to put pressure on him. He almost slowed down there. I think he's real worried about it. Well, there he spit up, so keep going. You can do this with a lunge whip or with a stick. The stick kind of makes a bit more noise there, so he went from his gait to a walk, so I'm going to stop. But I don't feel like he's comfortable with that yet, so I'm going to go back to doing the saddle again until he slows down his walk. There, he slid down his walk. Good. Then I'm going to move up to his withers, like neck area. And then we'll do it on the other side. Try and do the, oh, we're stuck. Try and do the head last, because they usually don't like that too much. He seems not to be too bothered by that. Let's just wait for him to slow down. There, he slowed it down. I'll take that. He wasn't too bad. There he goes. Good. And we'll just do the same thing the other way. Keep going. If they stop, just ask him to go again. I feel like this is his worst side when he does this. So I'm going to sensitize him on his hindquarters and wait for him to walk. There he walked. So when it was on him, I just stopped moving and let it slide off. But I, ideally, I'd like to take it off. But if it's already on him, you want to stop as soon as possible. And if he kind of wanders, you can just bump his head towards you and kind of put pressure on him so he doesn't get too close to you. I can do that and send him away. But he's all right. So he speeds up. I'm gonna wait till he walks. There. Do that one more time. I want him to do a bit slower walk. Like that. Good. Perfect. All right. 
So now I'm going to do the saddle. It's a little harder with your left hand. There he's skating. Wait till he walks. I just don't want him to think every time that whip comes over there, he's going to get smacked. Because I want him to think about my body language first. Just chill out. Just chill out. There he walked. Oh, not really. There, now he walked. You see if he'll go out a little bit. Getting kind of dizzy. Just want him to relax here. There, slow it down. Sounds better. Good. down. It's kind of relaxing. A little, that last circle was a lot better. Just wait for him to slow down. Very slowed down. Okay, move on to his withers, his head. <laughs> or aim doesn't have to be perfect, but if you were like to throw his head up there, because I accidentally hit him in, in the head, just try and not smack him in the face, but just so it gently touches his face and keep doing that until he's okay with it. And he kind of like shows you a sign of relaxing or slows down. Good. There, you put that foot underneath him. Good. So the end there where he, he slowed way down, he put his head down, he blew his nose, that's a good place to stop.